Glendale, the jewel city of Southern California and home to over 200,000 people. For many, Glendale is a place of hope and prosperity, but the city has a history of racial discrimination. Glendale wasn't a place where black people lived. Sundown towns were created to keep black people in their place. We were only good enough to be their servants, to work in their towns for them. But once the sun went down, we needed to get out. If you were black and you arrived in Glendale, then the police would typically stop you, query you, and you would be informed that you could not stay in Glendale, California by the time the sun went down. Glendale's largest uh, demonstration took place in 1924, and there were 3,000 Klansmen and 15,000 spectators. These events have shaped Glendale, and the effects of systemic racism continue to resonate in our community today. We really are focusing on institutional racism. We're looking at all of these institutions that exist and seeing that what can they do better to be more inclusive and what can they do to be anti-racist. In 2020, the city of Glendale passed a resolution acknowledging and apologizing for the city's racist past. It was a historic step of reckoning. It's extraordinary that the city of Glendale is going to get ahead of it and say, yes, we are going to proactively apologize, put on record the prevention of African-Americans. Glendale Library Arts and Culture presents Reckoning, Racism and Resistance in Glendale, a virtual exhibition exploring the library's archives to examine the city's racist history, the resistance to that racism, and our current moment of reckoning. In order to provide viewers a way to navigate the incredibly complex story, the exhibition has been divided into six episodes. We invite you to explore the archives and learn the history of Glendale, because the better we understand the past, the better we can shape our future. <laughs>